does. These Celtic fans really are out on their own. Well, they call this a friendly, but the crowd clearly doesn't think so, and nor in actual fact do we. Well, in games of this nature, as a player, Peter, you only want to work as hard as demanded. You don't want to have to go at it full pelt. But when the opposition is what it is, all of that kind of goes out the window. The challenge here will ask more of you, and so both teams will, will wish to, to give more than they take. It's one of those games, Peter, where if the opposition increase their effort, you have to follow it. So that's got things on the way. Out to the left it goes. Danger averted for now. Hoists it forward. He could have been in, just needed a better final ball. Rangers just had to make the ball stick, but came up short. Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. And what do they try to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more to think about. Swung over into the middle. Tries to get it forward quickly. It can only get better, this. We haven't seen a shot yet, and I'm hoping that when we do, it'll spark a whole series of them because it needs livening up. Well, that's where he wants it. It's a bit of penetration to go with all this possession. Tries to locate someone up front. Cuts it out. Keeper's got good distance on that. A counter-attack chance now for range. Goes for goal! We've got a goal! Speed of thought, efficiency of movement, and certainty of outcome. It's rarely a problem when that much time is afforded in the penalty box. Nobody sensed where the danger was lurking, and the finish was made a lot easier. Big occasion, big goal, crucial lead. Look, I'm sure that silencing the crowd would have been mentioned in the dressing room beforehand. And uh, just listen. Plays it out to the flank. This could spell shapes to shoot! And the ball's come out. And it's played forward. He's through. Gets away. Big. He's gone for it. No, that wasn't kidding anyone. Well, it could have been and probably should have been a, a different choice of finish. There was lower space to hit. Can't get the better of his opposite number. 
It's gone for a throw in. Great run on the overlap here. Crosses it in. Goalkeeper's ball. There's the whistle for half time. So there you have it, a close sport half of football, but one that still had its moments, but ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to now. Any strong opinions on the first half? Rangers clearly are benefiting from their homework. They've dealt with anything that's been thrown at them and have been smart on the break. Rangers come off having scored the only goal of the game so far. It's been tight, it's been exciting. And there is certainly plenty for us to chew on during the break. So we're already into the second period. Rangers carrying a one-goal lead. James McCarthy. Oh, good take. He's had a go! Could move up a gear here. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Oh, really good feet from him. Roof tries a shot! And the follow-up. Decent strike, kept it fizzing low. I actually like to see that in shots at goal when there's a, a noticeable effort to get over the ball and, and keep it down. Ah, now some movement on the bench, and we are going to see a change. Forward it goes. Your impression so far, Jim? They're ahead, but they're not playing as if they are. There seems to be uh, more of an emphasis on protecting their lead than, than adding to it. It's all gone a little timid. down by a lack of accuracy brought forward what does he try from here he spotted the run and played him through going through plays it back hardly anything between the sides and it's 1-0 has a hit Celtic can make their change now with uh, a break in play. So we have a double substitution going on here. Ball's loose. Who's getting there? Going for goal! Oh, and that should have been two. He got too ahead of himself there, thinking how he could have made things safe. Celtic making consecutive changes here. Yeah, he's run himself into the ground, hasn't he? And it's, it's good to see that the crowd appreciate his efforts because he has put in a real honour shift. Celtic are actually displaying tremendous fighting spirit. There's a real belief that they can still have a say. Played out to the right. Towering header! Really well taken goal. And surely that clinches it. There really is no way back now. Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front and they really commit forward in numbers too. That was all very well drilled.
couple of changes then in quick succession. So that's two now without reply. Tries to get it forward quickly. What an adventurous run from a defender. Quick ball forward. Battles to win it back. He's pinged one through here. Oh, well defended. That had to be done. Now the counter goes long. Neatly flicked on. Well read, he sorted that out. Striding forward, facing goal. Hits one! Yes! Deep, deep into injury time! Well, you've got to say, the odds on him missing from there were very slim. That's just a great finish, but it's down to very clever movement. You can see this has been obviously worked on on the training ground. He knew exactly where he wanted the ball, and it all came good. Celtic and time is up well whatever the shortcomings on either side it was a great game to watch just one between them the end of the game reflections Rangers made their intentions clear that nothing else but a win would do these games are always tough you know it's it's not always about form it's not always about class or style it's about pride and they showed loads of that their attitude was